Okay. So, oh, <laughs> that was you texting me. Um, okay, so the first story is about, um, well, I think I've already told you this one, but I'm going to tell you again because it's probably the most famous story. Because this is the one that, um, that Das Rheingold was based off of, but it's not the same. So, um, so anyway, uh, way, I guess, like, more towards the beginning of things, um, I suppose I should tell you the creation story, but it's kind of boring and kind of gross. So, if you want to know, I'll tell you later. Basically, Odin just killed this big giant and then took his different organs and bones and things and made everything out of it. This kind of, I can tell you the details, but I don't think you'll appreciate that as a vegetarian. Um, <laughs> so anyway, after that, um, the Vanir, who live in Vanheim, and if anybody else watches these, please don't watch these, anybody else, but if anybody watches these and I'm screwing the names up royally, deal with it, because I'm not Norse. I'm American, and I try. Okay, so anyway, the Vanir and the Aesir had a big fight. They had this big war that went on because they didn't like each other. The Vanir are like um, magicians and witches and they use magic basically and um, uh, the Aesir are just big and tough and stuff. So they had this really big fight and for most of it the Vanir were winning and then I forget what happened but the Aesir won. But there was a ton of damage and a ton of people died and um, and stuff. So what wound up happening was after that, the uh, the bridge or the not the bridge, the wall around Asgard was pretty much just totally demolished. Um, so they <laughs> wanted. They needed to build a new wall, but the Aesir are known for being extraordinarily lazy and extraordinarily greedy, as you will find out as we continue with these stories. Um, but yeah, so they're very lazy, and none of them actually wanted to build the wall. They wanted to find somebody to build the wall, but because they're greedy, they also didn't want to really pay anybody to do the wall for them. So. They just kind of were sitting around talking about it and like, eh, well, somebody's going to build it sometime, but nothing was happening. So nobody was building this wall and they, they knew that it needed to be done. And then one day, um, this man, one man by himself, and except he had a horse with him, um, came just kind of strolling up. And he met, he ran into Heimdall, because Heimdall is the one everybody's got to go past in order to get into Asgard. And he was like, I want to talk to the gods. I want to talk to all of them. Get them all in a room, and I want to talk to them. And he's like, and Heimdall's like, um, well, tell me what you want, and I'll see if they want to talk to you. He's like, no, I'm not telling you what I want. I'll tell everybody all together. Um, and that's that's that. I've got an offer for you, but I'm not telling it to just you. I'm telling it to everybody all at once. Take it or leave it. And so Heimdall's like, well, that's not how things work. And he was very grumpy about it, but he went and he talked to Odin. And Odin looked down and saw this guy, this one old-ish guy just standing there with his horse. And he was really curious because the guy was very... Usually when people if they know that they've run into an Aesir, they're very uh, overwhelmed and like scared and, and they don't talk like this guy did. This guy was just whatever, you know, he, he, want, he was very confident in himself. Um, and so Odin was curious about it. So he's like, all right, we'll talk to him. We'll talk to him, bring him in. and. He got everybody together, um, 
and he uh and he, so yeah so they had this whole big council and everybody was kind of put off by this because everybody was but odin and loki were um were insulted by this guy who was who would just come right in and do whatever and so the man said that in he would build the wall for them in 18 months he said give me 18 months and i will build the entire wall for you and they're like well at first they didn't think it was possible and he was like oh, well i think it's possible i'll do it and it won't trouble you any if i'm if i'm it doesn't work out you know <laughs> if if i don't uh finish it in 18 months then then that's that and you've got you know you didn't lose anything from it um so they're like all right but what do you want in return because that's a lot of work for you to be doing by yourself so what do you what do you want what's your price um and he said quite confidently still uh i want if i build your wall you give me Freya, who is this beautiful, beautiful goddess. Actually, I think they got her from the Vanir. I think that was part of the peace treaty thing. I don't remember. I think it was. Um, Freya and her brother came over, but she's she's the most beautiful goddess of them all. Um, and he, he said, I want to marry her. I'll take her back with me and that'll be my payment. And of course, everybody automatically because they all loved her and they're like no 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 we're not gonna we're not gonna do that and then Loki says well hold on a second you know he's saying he's gonna build this entire wall for us maybe maybe we should stop and consider this and and see if we can make a counter offer and everybody was really angry about that except Odin was like except Odin Odin's always the one who is patient and will actually listen so he's like all right well let's make a counter offer so they send the guy out of the room and they discuss it um basically loki and odin discuss it and everybody else complains um so they said uh that or they decided that what they were going to do is or loki came up with this idea i suppose um give him only uh I think it was 12 months no six months six months so he originally wanted 18 months and he and they gave him six months to build the entire wall and he had to do it by himself and if he didn't finish it like no matter how much he got done if he didn't finish the wall in six months um then he didn't get anything he had to just leave and that's fine and that was it um, and everybody's like, he's, that's crazy. He's not gonna, it's impossible to finish the wall in six months. It's absolutely impossible. He's not gonna take that offer. And Loki's like, no, because he's, he saw how he was and he was madly in love with Freya. And he's like, no, trust me, he's gonna take the deal. And when he does, it is impossible. There's no way he's ever going to finish it, but and but we'll have most of a wall done he'll have nothing and we won't have had to pay anything for it or do anything to get it done and then we can just hire somebody to finish it later um so they very reluctantly agreed to this because it was just an impossible task that this guy was going to finish it in six months by himself so they brought him back in and they're like okay well and they gave him the deal and at first he was totally freaked out and they're like, all right, well, if you don't want to do it in six months then you don't do it at all and you don't get Freya. Um, and he w and Loki was right. He was madly in love with Freya and he was like, all right, I'll do it, but I want my horse. And Odin was like, uh, absolutely not. You have to do it by yourself. And Loki's like, hold, hold on, hold on. If you don't let him use his horse, he's not going to take the deal at all. So let him use his horse. He's still not going to be able to do it. And you know, whatever. We'll still have, everything will stay the same. He's going to use his horse. His horse was just a normal size horse.